Hello and welcome to Pectolas, the home of handcrafted experiences. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this lovely outdoor scented candle from scratch. Let's look at the ingredients we'll need. The first thing is paraffin wax, some newspaper to lay over the work area, candle wicks to place inside of our candle, this 3 litre container to pour our melted wax into, and fragrances because this is a scented candle. We're going to start by taking the newspaper and laying it over the work area to ensure that it stays nice and clean. Whenever you're melting and pouring wax, things can get messy. After this, we're going to prepare our wicks by placing them in the container. I'm using glue dots to attach the candle wicks to the base of the container. These glue dots are basically just sticky patches that are sticky on both sides. You stick one side to the back of your candle wick and then you remove the plastic once it decides to come off. And once you've peeled off the plastic, you attach your wick into the base of your candle. Make sure it's nice and scented. Now I'm attaching the rest of the candle wicks to the container. In total, I used seven candle wicks for this candle. In terms of spacing the candle wicks, you just wanna make sure they're nicely and evenly spaced out. You don't want them too close to each other because when you light your candle, you don't want your flames too close to each other. In general, I place my wicks about three to four centimeters apart. So just check with your candle wick supplier for their spacing guide. Now that all the candle wicks have been attached to a container, I'm going in with some kebab sticks and press stick to basically align the wicks in preparation for pouring the melted wax. Sometimes the wicks can move around when you're pouring your melted wax. So these kebab sticks help a lot in making sure that they stay in place while you're pouring your wax. After this, we can prepare to melt the wax. To melt the wax, we'll be using boiling water. It's not recommended to use direct heat, so this metal bowl is actually going to be used to melt the wax. We're gonna place the wax inside of the bowl and let the steam and the boiling water inside the pot melt the wax. This wax is going to be melted up to a temperature of 90 to 95 degrees Celsius. I'm using the same kebab sticks that I used earlier to just stir the wax inside of the pool of already melted wax. I'm also adding the wax in bit by bit just to make sure that at any given time I have a big enough pool of melted wax to melt the solid pots. I'll let this keep going while I prepare the fragrances to add to the candle. Now this is where the fun begins. This is where you get to be creative and actually personalize your candle. Today I'm using three different fragrances that I've got from SA Candle Supply. I'm basically freestyling it right now. I'm taking one fragrance, mixing it with another, and smelling it to see if I like it. Adding the third, mixing, smelling to see if I like it. I'm just playing around with the fragrances until I get something that smells good to me. And this is what I love about making my own candles, is that I can personalize the fragrance that I get to smell. Let's go back and check on the wax. Once the wax has reached 90 degrees, we can switch off the stove and wait until it gets to between 85 to 90 degrees Celsius. Then the fragrance can go in. When adding your fragrance, you might notice a cloudy appearance developing in your wax. But don't worry, just mix in your fragrance properly until the cloudiness disappears. Once you've mixed in your fragrance, Make sure to wait for your mixture to cool down until 75 degrees Celsius before you pour it into the container. 
The mixture is finally ready to be poured into the container. A tip for this is to pour the mixture in one consistent steady pour just to make sure that your wax sets evenly. We're also not going to be pouring the wax all the way to the top. We're going to leave about a 2 cm gap that's going to be topped up the following day. The reason for this is that we want a nice smooth finish once the final layer of wax has been poured. To finish our candle, we're going to melt the leftover wax using the indirect heat method. The mixture can be heated to a temperature of 90 degrees Celsius and this time we don't have to wait until it reaches 75 degrees Celsius to be able to pour it. As soon as the wax has melted to the desired temperature, we can just go ahead and pour it into the container. After topping up the candle, you can wait about 12 hours for the wax to set before trimming the wicks. To trim the wicks, I'm using scissors and nail clippers just for a better angle. And you want to trim the wick to about a length of half a centimeter. And that'll be it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed making this candle with me. Please jump in the comments and let me know what you think and if you have any questions for me. Until next time.